Hi friends, uh, today I will give you a brief idea about the block diagram of 8086, also call it as architecture of 8086. Okay. So already in the previous video, I was given briefly, so what are the various uh, properties of 8086? Let us see the block diagram of 8086 once. So here, uh, uh, this is the block diagram of 8086. So see here, uh, the 8086 mainly contains two units, namely bus interfacing unit, then other is execution unit. Okay, the bus interfacing unit mainly contains six byte instruction queue. So one to six indicates it's a six byte instruction queue, then segment registers, then add. Okay, see the portion of bus interfacing unit. So this is the portion of bus interfacing mm -hmm. unit. Then remaining portion is called as execution unit. This is the execution unit. So it contains a control system, ALU, flags, and some registers. Let us see the function of bus interfacing unit. So in these two units, the bus interfacing unit only communicated to external memory device or I/O device. So I already mentioned the 8086 does not have does not have any internal memory. So every time uh, the 8086 uh, fetches the instruction from external memory or I.O. performing the required operation and result will be sent back to again external memory or I.O. So but internally uh, registers are there but register stores data, tem data temporarily. So we don't have any external uh, internal memory for pass. Every time it depends on the external memory or I.O. Coming to BIU operation. So uh, here uh, the main role of BIU is it will fetch the Fetching means reading. It will read the instructions from external memory or I/O device, and after uh, fetching or reading, those instructions are stored in six-byte instruction queue. This is six-byte instruction queue. Here instructions are one to six, and queue you know queue follows uh, FIFO principle. FIFO means first in, first out. So the first, uh, for example, BAU fetching first instruction and it is loaded in uh, position one. Then next instruction position two, position three, position four, like that up to position six. So after fetching the instructions, then uh, for example, first instruction is fetching. So that instruction will enter into control system where it will decoding. Okay, decoding means checking whether that instruction is uh, belongs to uh, the 8086 instruction set or not. It will tested by control system. So now it is tested and if everything is okay. Then that particular instruction will enter into execution unit where it will execute. For example, depending on the instruction, it will perform uh, data transfer operation, maybe ALU operation. ALU means it's arithmetic logical unit. For example, the given instruction uh, may be addition operation, for example. So then ALU perform with the addition of that particular uh, instruction. We get uh, result. That result will be sent to buses. Here, uh, here uh, we have three buses. You know, bus means it's a group of signals. So 8086 is already having three buses, address bus, data bus, and control bus. So address bus uh, uh, transmit the address means selection of address is possible with the help of address bus uh, selection of data accessing of data is possible with the help of data bus control bus uh, will decide whether the processor reads the data or writes the data from where it will read either from memory or io or from where it will write uh, 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 from which memory it will write either from memory or io that is decided by control bus like that we have control bus address bus and data bus coming to al for example after uh, uh, decoding is over that instruction will enter into ALU and where uh, uh, it will perform arithmetic and logical operations. We get result. That result will be moved to buses. So in that uh, uh, ALU operation, sometimes flags are also affected. Maybe carrier flag, auxiliary carry flag, priority flag, zero flag, overflow flag, sign flag, trap flag, like that. Some flags are there. Those flags are affecting. Accordingly, that flag result is also moved to buses. Similarly, if it is a data only data transfer operation, that From memory and stored in register. Maybe data will send from register to memory. In those case, we use registers. Finally, uh, we have uh, results. We have enough results. Okay, after execution, we have result. That result again move to uh, BIU, then to external memory via segment registers and adder. This is adder. The role of adder is it will convert 16 bit uh, logical address into 20 bit physical address because uh, the 8086 is already having uh, 20 address lines. So we need. Um, uh, 20 bit 20 uh, a bit address for that uh, it requires a 16 bit logical address into 20 bit physical address that is taken care by this particular summer 
So like that, uh, finally, we are fetching the instructions and placed in the queue. Then, uh, if which instruction comes first, that instruction will enter into control system where it will decode it. Okay, and checking uh, uh, whether that instruction belongs to instruction set or not. After checking, it will enter into uh, execution unit. Depending on the type of the instruction, it will perform the either data transfer operation or arithmetic or logical operations. So during that time, uh, there are there is a chance of getting flags, and we get result. The results and the uh, flags results will be uh, moved to a BAU via buses and segment registers, and finally. Adder convert 16 bit logical address into 20 bit physical address. Based on that address, uh, the data will be moved. For example, uh, processor wants to send its result into 50,000 H location. So this adder will generate so that 50,000 H uh, physical address. Okay, with that address, uh, the data will be transmitted through bus interfacing unit. Okay, this is about uh, the, uh, the functioning of uh, BIU and execution unit. So let us see other one. Uh, what is pipelining mechanism? Already I mentioned uh, initially in the uh, features of 8086. Okay, so 8086 uh, belongs to pipelining mechanism. Let us see what is pipelining mechanism and what is the uh, previous uh, uh, process which uh, operation is going on in previous 8086, nothing but 8085. For example, this is the representation of uh, 8085 microprocessor, how the instructions are executed. Here uh, F indicates fetching. One indicate instruction one. D is decoding. It is uh, taken care in the control system. Decoding of first instruction, execution of first instruction. Similarly, fetching of second one, decoding of second one, and execution of second one. Like that, F D E fetching, decoding, and execution. So in olden version, I already mentioned uh, in 8085. So bus interfacing unit and execution unit both are uh, uh, not work parallelly. So either B A U working means E U must be ideal. E U working means B A U is ideal. See here. For, for example, F1 means then decoding of first instruction. After decoding, execution of first instruction. So during this decoding and execution in the execution unit, no work in the BIU in uh, 8085. Similarly, after executing first instruction, then only uh, in 8085 processor fetching the second one. After fetching, then only decoding, then only execution. During this time, BIU won't fetch third instruction. So if you see this diagram, so this is the total time taken for executing two instructions in 8085. That is in those methods without pipelining. Now let us see with the pipelining. Now this example for 8086. In 8086, we have two units and both are work parallelly. For example, BIU fetching first instruction. So in that case, uh, you may not perform any operation because no instruction is available uh, to perform ALU or data transfer. So it is waiting. After fetching first instruction, what happens? Then execution unit will decode that particular instruction. During this time, BIU fetching next instruction. After decoding first instruction in execution unit, then it will execute. After executing, then already second instruction is fetched in BIU. So then it will decoding second instruction EU, then executing. During this decoding and execution of second instruction, BIU fetching third one. Like that, uh, fetching and execution both are done simultaneously. This mechanism is called as a pipeline. Now let us see in this example, in the second part. So this is the time for executing two instructions, two instructions. This is the time for executing two instructions in 8086. Whereas uh, this is the time for executing two instructions in without pipelining. Because of pipelining mechanism for every two instructions, this much time is saved. That's why pipelining is very, very essential and important. With this, uh, we can save uh, uh, execution time. Okay, this is about uh, block diagram and the introduction uh, on pipelining mechanism of 8086 okay thank you friends